very well. Nice to see you. Good, good. I was getting worried for a second. Oh, sorry. I, I don't. I forget how to do Skype sometimes. I was over. I, was, I thought I was going to hear it ring. But... <laughs> Words. Yeah, I had the same problem too. <laughs> so, um, thank you. How are you doing this lovely day? Not bad. It's pretty nice today. You know, regular thing, regular deal. Definitely, definitely. Well, one, I just want to say thank you for talking to me because I know it's been a long time since your days at Nickelodeon and stuff. Well, I hope I can give you some answers. There's a lot of that stuff I can't remember anymore. You have to tell me some about it. So it'll okay. be good for both of us. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I guess I'll start with the first question. Um, when did you know you wanted to be in showbiz? Hmm, I don't know that I ever really wanted to be. I think I kind of fell into it. When I went to New York City, I was kind of in between other jobs, and um, I kind of started doing, uh, well, I was waiting tables and security guard and a bunch of different jobs, and a friend of mine was doing a, an old CBS show called Doc, Dr. Fad. It was a kid's invention show. I started doing warm-up for them, and then I started doing warm-up for Nickelodeon shows. I kind of got started that way, so it wasn't something I was really dying to do necessarily but I enjoyed it and the people I worked with were, were great you know yes and of course that led to total panic yes <laughs> yeah total panic that's like 80s Nickelodeon I think so. yeah. 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 yeah and so how did so you got that role as the host and what was that experience like well I started actually as the announcer and the warm-up guy and uh was it Dave Diamond, I think was his name? He was hosting at the time. And I don't know if he had other obligations or what. So they just kind of stuck me into the hosting role. And, you know, as I recall, it was a, it was a live show, Sunday mornings, three hours. So I learned a lot on that <laughs> quick experience. They were very patient with me, and I learned a lot. It was fun. Yeah, and the prizes, they were really ahead of its time. I just saw an episode. You guys gave away Sega Genesis, the Game okay. Boy. Yeah, man. I remember when it came out. I think we had the guy on there first time. Yeah, and that's funny because I still have both of those things with me. Really? <laughs> I still have that. Best stuff, you know. Yeah. Where was um, Total Panic filmed at? Where? Yes. We did it, uh, I can't remember how many years we did it. It must have only been two or three, if even that. Mm -hmm. But I know we started in New York City. Mm-hmm. And I can't, I'm not sure which studio it was. And then we did the last year, I think, or the last season of it down in Orlando. So we went down there the first year that it opened up, and we were one of the shows that, you know, was kind of kicking things off. As our show was ending, the studio stuff was starting. Yeah, that led to the great Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando being opened, 1990. Yeah, yeah how did you react when you found out you were going to be moving to Florida? Um, I think I was fine. I'd never been to Florida, I don't think, and uh, I was fine with it. But I liked, um, you know, I liked who I was working with, and, mm -hmm. you know, had work, so it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the open, you were part of opening day celebration. That was a huge day. Yes, it was. It was fun, man. It was fun. And I remember, well, just like everything else we did, it seemed like it was live, too. So... I don't know. It was just fun to work that way. The crowd was good. I might still have some tape of that someplace, but I can't remember where that might be. Oh. It's big tape. It'd be a big three-quarter tape, so I don't know if they have machines that take that over anymore, you know, copy it over. Oh, if you ever find it, just tell me, please. I will, man. Oh, sure, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because there's some footage of a missing online, so we, yeah. a lot of us would love to see it. And opening day, you were there were Mark Summers, Harvey, Steven Spielberg. Um, who else? Right. Oh, boy. You just reminded me of who all was there. I remember that. <laughs> I, just, I remember they had the professor from Gilligan's Island. I think he was there. And the guy playing Ben Franklin. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a lot of them, man. There was a lot of people. Yeah, and movie stars, too. I'm like, wow, this is great. Because yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yes, and um, so what opening day celebration and Orlando was shaping up to be an East Coast Hollywood type of thing. Was that a big deal for the show and for Nickelodeon? I think so. I think everybody was pretty excited about that. And, um, you know, they were great studios and you're right there connected to the park and everything. So mm -hmm. the cool thing was we would shoot the shows and you kind of had this... Uh, uh, viewing box up there that people could go on a tour of the show, uh, mm -hmm. tour of the studios while the show was going on. So they would 
they would walk up there and look down and watch you doing stuff and we'd wave and stuff and we were never a lacking audience you could shoot shows all day and you'd always have an audience there which is very fun it was fun yeah of course the studio tour is one of the highlights about nickelodeon studios because i remember it myself of course yeah was that are you from orlando oh no i'm from <laughs> Yeah. To Orlando. I have family there in Florida. Oh, you do? Okay. So did you ever go on the tour and stuff then? Yes, way back oh, in 1994. No kidding. How oh, cool. Yeah, it's so long ago. But um, what other shows do you remember being filmed with Total Panic and Out of Here? Uh, well, back in New York, I know they had one called Don't Just Sit There. Mm -hmm. I think I did some warm-up for them. When, when Double Dare went to Orlando, I did some warm-up for that show. The last year, look at that show. Mm-hmm. was down there? Mm -hmm. Was Figure It Out down there? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, Figure It Out was filmed there. Yeah. I can't remember, dude. I should have done my homework. I can't remember what else they had down there. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think you guys lasted till 91, so... Okay. So, if I want to refresh your memory, there was a yeah. high school show called Welcome Freshman. Oh, know? yeah, okay. Yeah, I might have been gone by then. When did they start? 91? Yeah. I started doing voices for the cartoon Doug about that time. That's when Doug came on, I know. Doug, you know, I wanted to ask you about that because that was yeah. one of the first three Nicktoons. Um, so, <laughs> who did you voice? I was the voice of uh, Mr. White, Mayor White, uh, Principal White. Vote for me. Have a sucker. Hey, don't you like that? <laughs> That's so cute. He always had his toupee flying up, you know. It was fun. <laughs> Mayor White, I still Doug's still popular today. I mean, yeah, I know. You know, I see those guys who made it. They're my friends, uh, Jim Jenkins, Dave Campbell. I see them all the time. Yeah, man, they can still go out and get a crowd going for Doug. It's pretty cool. Yes, yes, and yeah. of course at Nick Studios, you were the on-air announcer for Out of Here. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, and I think you did warm up for them too. I think an all-in-one thing. There were some good kids there. They just they did a good. That was a not an easy show to do because they had a lot to do. Remember, they were they were good. Yeah, they were like four um, local hosts from Florida. Um, yeah, I remember they were really good kids and they worked hard. Mm -hmm. You know, didn't let it get to their head too much. So, if at all, yeah, they're good guys. Do you know where they're? Yeah. Every mm -hmm. time I look at Out of Here, though, it reminds me of that early '90s because it's really the clothes on Oh man, I know. Yeah, when you were going to call today, I was over there looking at, at trying to see, uh, remind myself of, of some stuff about Total Panic, and man, mm. uh, time capsule, man, it's unreal. Yeah, and you guys picked the show to audience participation. Right, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the big deals, because I think TV back then used kids and make them active and make them participate in games and that was really a highlight for me yeah and i remember they really yeah it was it was it was something to have something for kids i remember jerry Layburn, who was the president down there mm -hmm. i recall her saying that you know that that's what they're trying to do is make this for kids about kids which at that time i think was a pretty new thing because kids didn't have a channel you know before that you might have some cartoons on in the afternoon after school or saturday morning but that's about it man so to have them have a whole channel to themselves is kind of a, a new, cool thing. So, and it don't, and Total Panic, I mean, we had a bunch of interviews with, you know, celebrities, but the, the most fun thing was the, uh, just these crazy games we make them do stuff. So, Yankee Kid from in the audience, and he'd run around and get that kind of stuff, you know. It was good. Good time. Yeah, yeah. And Nick Studios, it was big, a lot of publicity going around in that area. Yeah. Um, and of course, the sound stages, too. They were like big, giant sound stages that you right. guys used. Yeah, that must have helped a lot with everything. Well, it really did, especially for those kinds of shows, because they could bring in, you know, they'd have a place for props, bring it in, make it as big as they need to, take it back out again. You had plenty of room there, which is so nice. It was more challenging in New York. You might have different, you know, levels of the studio you had to run to and take stuff from. But, yeah, man, it, it, it was a very fun, nice thing. And I just remember, the, as I said before, but I remember the audience is just having uh, access to that many kids who were ready to be there. It was it was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the kids were so excited. Um, I have to ask this, but were you ever slimed? Was I ever slimed? Uh, mm -hmm. You know what? I don't think I was. Because they always wanted to do it. Was I? Maybe one time. 
maybe one time we could do it because I was uh, I, I was hosting a thing down there called Game Lab where we would try out uh, yeah. stuff on you know again the audience is yeah and there was a whole thing you know where we, kids slimed and uh, I think I may have but I remember I really didn't want to <laughs> which I remember they really wanted me to get that because I didn't like it so. Gosh, well, it's never too late, you know. It's never too late. Yeah. Do still see that on that channel? Do you know? You know, honestly, I think the only part they do is for the Kids' Choice Awards. Okay, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we need more slime, though, for kids. We need it back. Um, I'm going to, you might not remember the rides at Universal Studios, but did you have a favorite one? You know, I don't think I, I, don't think I rode one ride. I don't think so. Really? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I don't wow. think I did. I think I just worked and went home. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I liked it down there. Florida was great, man. I enjoyed myself. People were cool. It was fun. Oh, I was just about to ask you that. The oh, Florida wow. staff and the studios, yeah. what were they like? They were just yeah, yeah, great. Everybody was really easy to work with. and You know, I remember they were always trying to come up with some new shows and stuff. So it was always it was an exciting place to be. And more than even in New York, it felt like, you know, you really went to work and you saw a lot of people from a lot of different shows, whereas mm -hmm. New York, you might just go to yours and just see your guys, you know, so. That was a good yeah. time. It was a good time. I'm sorry they don't have it down there anymore. I remember they stopped having it down there a while ago. 2005, eight years ago. Eight years ago, jeez. Wow. That surprises mm -hmm. me. Yeah, definitely. It's really missed and beloved, but... Um, yeah. Nick Studios, it was really kind of like a mecca for kids and I think adults to just mm -hmm. learn behind the scenes TV production and have fun basically. Yeah. And it was really something really common at the time we were there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that you hosted, well, not hosted, excuse me, you were out of here, yeah. but. What else? Did you ever meet Mark Summers? Oh, yeah, Mark Summers. Mark and I were good buddies. Mark was very good to me. He, he always gave me great advice career-wise and hosting-wise and stuff. He's a very generous, good friend. And I saw him a few other times. We were, we were both at – my wife and I moved to California, so we saw him out there a couple of times. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's a, he's a terrific guy. He was always really good to me. And, yeah, Harvey, he's great. I talked to him before, and he's just awesome. Both him yeah. and Mark are. Did you check out Michael Malley yet? Oh, no, no, I haven't. I yeah, really he's, wanted to, though. He's, yeah, he's so always been excited. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, other hosts on Phil Moore. Oh, yeah, I remember oh, him. All right. I'm taking you back, am I? <laughs> well, oh, you really are, man. I'm telling you, you're open up stuff that I, I just didn't know was still in. Yeah. Um, what was one of the good things about living and working in Orlando? Oh man, I just, I mean, after, after we finished up Total Panic, pretty much all I did was sort of do warm up again, which is what I started doing. And to me, that was even, mm -hmm. I just loved doing that even, I always have to say more than host. I liked it better. It was just always so much more fun, less pressure, and the crowds were always good. So I always loved that. I remember the attitude mm -hmm. of everybody there. Everybody was excited because it was a new thing, you know. And, guys from New York come mm -hmm. down there to work. Andy Bamberger was down there too, another great guy. So, um, uh, oh, he's the director of Total Panic, of course, he was there. Um, this is great. And, you know, for us from New York, you know, it was nice. The weather was, wasn't bad to, in the wintertime either. You know? Yeah, the Florida yeah. weather is very on and yeah. off at times. Um, sometimes it's beautiful, sometimes yeah. it's you get hot. Big rain every day, you know, two o'clock. <laughs> gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, what was so great and special about Nick Studios? Though? Uh, well, you I mean, the, just the, the first the first part of it, I think it was just it was just really something that, you know, it was just so big. There was so much stuff you could do. It felt like there was a lot of potential there to do a lot of stuff. And um, I don't know. It, to me, it just was a little bit easier because everybody was sort of centralized. You know, you could talk to anybody from any show or any place, and you just kind of kind of got there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, kids, they loved seeing the shows being done live there, and they saw they loved to see you guys get yeah, the makeup yeah, done yeah. and the studio <laughs> tour, yeah. 
Would you like to see it reopen? Do you think? Well, it come I back? mean, I, you know, I haven't been so long since I've watched the channel. I'm not sure what kind of stuff they do. Do they do any more stuff anymore, or is it more? No, that's really all just sitcoms now, basically. Like, no, really, no game shows. Yeah, so. Well, I mean, I guess it would depend on how they wanted to do it. But uh, I'll tell you, for its time, it was a good, it was a good move, and it was a good time to do it. You know, kid game show, great, yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it was really a special place, and I think it should be brought back just for oh, today's I think they love kids. It, and, oh, you know, I really think they love it. Yeah, you know, I've been too pre-internet. Well, you know, it was hard to get on TV. So if you were a kid, you got on, you know, one of those shows. I mean, it was a big deal. It wasn't like you're going to be online later that night. I mean, it was you're going to be on at four o'clock, and your grandma had to watch it that time or miss you, you know, or tape it, you know. So yeah, it was good, big deal. Yeah, I want to ask you, what was it today like being there? What, like the Well, for me, uh, boy, I'm trying to remember. When we were doing Total Panic, I guess you always had to go and get uh, in your, you know, your, I was going to say costume, your wardrobe and your uh, makeup, I guess, your hair and stuff, which really didn't, you know, didn't take that long. And then um, I guess during the week, Total Panic, it was, it was one time a week, so during the week we sort of... Uh, had meetings about the games and who was going to come in and rehearsing some stuff, you know, how the games were going to work and things like that. And then the, the day of the show, you just kind of got on and rode, man. It just sort of giddy up, you know. <laughs> um, do you remember, are there any other um, crazy fan interactions behind the scenes moments? Think. I don't remember too much. No. No, not crazy stuff. I don't. I don't remember anything like that. No, it was crazy enough with the shows, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I thought you were gonna say something because the kids back then they were like insane. Well, that's that's <laughs> that's 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have photos from being there that yeah, maybe I can look? The I'm project? not sure. I don't have any photos. Okay. I might have some of that short long hair I had back then. All the hair I had. It's pretty. Yeah, I saw it, and that's it's a legendary pretty. haircut. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> what have you been up to these days? Where can fans uh, check Well, you these days I do a show called Tokens down in Nashville. It's like a um, it's like a Garrison Keeler show for the South. So I go down there, and a few times a year we do a show like that, and I do a Brother Preacher character down there. But, uh, I think yeah, I got a couple of them on uh, YouTube. You can check out Brother Preacher, the stuff I've done down there. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doing a little yeah. bit of music down there, so it's all been good. That's about it for now. Yep, I saw the tokens oh, yeah. Yeah, online, and so I know what it's about. So oh, okay. I saw your YouTube channel, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, before I let you okay. go, can you do one quick thing? Okay, can you say the ending spill, Out of Here, was produced at Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida? I can't say, can you say that. That's a lot of words, man. <laughs> out well, of Here was, a legendary was spill, produced by, that's as far as I can go, in Nick Studios, live, <laughs> Orlando, blah, 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 ah, out of here. I, I don't remember it. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> but it's okay, you tried though. Thanks though. All right. Well, you. Thank you. Greg, thank you so much for talking to me in the project and thanks for supporting Nick okay. Studios, thanks a lot, of course. Man. Nice to meet you. Thank you, man. You too. Take care.